It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, May 21st. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather dry for the weekend, dry next week, and heat levels are on the way up. And the tropics getting a little interesting. So here we go. This is the upper air looking at your classic high amplitude pattern across the country. You got a very strong upper high over the eastern states. That's, of course, the system affecting us, and a big cold trough back in the western U.S. There was a radar this morning around 5 o'clock. We had some light rain falling over parts of Louisiana, Alabama dry. Temperatures to start today are mostly in the 60s. Got a couple of spots in the 50s. We're expecting highs up in the mid to upper 80s today. Flash flood watches for parts of Louisiana, eastern Texas, and some of the adjacent states today. Winter storm warnings for parts of Montana. And red flag warnings for parts of Florida and also the southwest United States because of the danger of wildfires there. Got a chance of severe storms over the western plains and also parts of Wisconsin and some of the adjacent states. A marginal risk there. Tomorrow, again, a risk of severe storms on the lee of the Rockies from New Mexico up into parts of Nebraska. And day three, which is Sunday, a risk of severe storms, again, mainly for parts of the high plain states. All along, we are dry. The bulk of the rain will be well to the west. You can see the effect of that upper high sitting on top of us. Nothing for the state through Friday morning of next week. And yeah, the tropics getting interesting. All of a sudden, we've got two areas to watch. Uh, one is out in the Atlantic that is located east of Bermuda. An 80% chance of this thing becoming a brief subtropical storm. And again, this is not your classic warm core system. This would probably never get a name in years past, but if they do name it, the name will be Anna. And it won't be a subtropical storm for long, no impact to land. Uh, the one in the western Gulf uh, certainly looks interesting this morning. Uh, there's clearly some uh, mid to upper level spin with that. But uh, conditions don't favor this becoming a tropical storm. Uh, this is coming toward the middle Texas coast, be a, a rainmaker for the upper Texas coast and parts of southwest Louisiana. No impact on Alabama, and this probably will not get a name. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06E run, ballot today at 4. Big upper high over the east, big cold trough in the west. And for us, a sunny day, highs mid to upper 80s, rain well to the west. Sunny tomorrow. The high will be close to 90. We'll say 87 to 91. Sunday, low 90s are likely. Nothing but sunshine for the weekend. And next week, it's just going to be hot. Mid-90s are likely. Close to records. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Here's a week from today. This is Friday, May 28, 591 upper high across the Gulf Coast region. And once again, we're hot and dry. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday, May 30th. Again, an upper high sitting on top of us. And again, maybe a couple of isolated showers, but just not much in the way of rain. So here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. This is valid through the 5th of June. Evidence showers could return as June begins, but the mean is still under one inch. And look at those numbers. That looks more like maybe July instead of the end of May. Uh, 89 tomorrow, 93 on Sunday. After that, mid-90s for a while. And the CPC outlook, this is for May 28th through June the 3rd. And temperatures around here would be above average if this all works out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms, and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, Be Prepared, Not Scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. 
As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared, get your kids a copy today.